over there is twin to my dad's car, 1970 Plymouth Hemi Cuda. Real quick, just walking through my friend's parts area, or one of them. A few cool cars. And then the pictures will show, right here used to be that burnt up 70 Superbird. And right there is a 71 Roadrunner. With ironically a 71 Charger stuff on it. And over there is where it was, about the twin of my dad's car. 1970 Plymouth Hemi Cuda. I don't know if it's a four-speed or automatic. It's got an automatic on the floor shifter, so it's an automatic. But, uh, you know, it's really rough, but they have all the stuff to put it back together. And then walking around this way. 6 or is this a 70 charger or 69? It is a 70 it's a 70 charger. Don't know if it's an RT or not. Nice 70 Roadrunner. 66 Plymouth. Road uh, Ram Charger, like a 75 Challenger Sunroof car. 72 Challenger Rally. Really bad, like 7071 Challenger, and a whole bunch of other projects. And they actually work on cars here, so like that's a just about ready to go to the owner after getting painted. 68 Camaro, I believe, 67, 67, yeah, with the vent windows. Okay, well, we're at my friend's shop, and I thought I'd start with something that we all know. 1968 Hemi GTX that's owned by my friends in Missouri it is under restoration here at the guy's shop. And next to it, 1969 Dodge Supri that he's had since high school. That's a long term project. That's really cool. Oh, and there's Trixie. Hi, Trixie. She's a good kitty. I'll touch a picture of her and me by the Superbird. And that right there is a, I think it's a 69 Hemi Super B, what I was told. That we're not talking about. And then a 1969 Hemi Roadrunner. That is complete. But it's a workbench right now. But uh, pretty cool. See if I can see the hood insert. Nope, can't get to the hood insert. Okay. Not touching it. And then we got cool Dodge truck. There's a green Superbird. And then here's a white Superbird. And then let's go walk on the back. Actually, I'm going to start in the back. Okay, so let's just start at one end and we'll walk down. There is a 346 pack. Then there's one Hemi. And then there's another Hemi. And, ooh, that was weird. Another Hemi. Another Hemi. Another Hemi. 446 pack. A few more Hemis. Heads. Engine parts. More cool stuff. Well, unfortunately, my video camera died and I never got anything from the rest of the building like this 69 Super B with a mod top. 3D3 automatic car. Or the hammies that were in the other building or all this stuff. I don't know what happened. Unfortunately, the video doesn't exist. Like, going up into their store. They have a storage area above the main building that you're seeing here. Well, actually, not this. This is the engines that are on the engine side of the building. You can see most of those are hammies or six-packs or 346 packs extra rear end a lot of cool stuff in that lower part 
And then we walked around the corner and went upstairs into where their main storage for the cars that are under restoration at that moment were, was. And there's everything upstairs. You can see taillights, grills, air cleaners. And you, if you thought that other building in the last video was packed, you can see this is literally from one end to the other, just full of stuff. And you're walking these narrow aisles just trying to avoid tripping over, you know, six-pack stuff. And that was just the first main building for restoration. This is the second. This is where the primary repair work goes on. This is where a lot of the cars are prepped and prepared. That's an original pink 70 Challenger TA. That's a white 70 Challenger RT. White car green stripe. That's a 71 Cuda. 71 GTX. These cars are all the ones that are being put together to eventually move over to the other shop for finalization. This is where the paint booth is. You'll see one of the cars that was in there. This is where the frame jig is. So the cars that you've seen over the last few episodes, that's a Hemi Cuda, you'll see. That's a real, true, legit BS23 ROB Hemi Cuda. All the cars that you've seen in the last, you know, 12 videos... They're going to get done one way or the other, either by these guys or by someone else. And these are the guard cats and the guard pug and the guard chickens. So don't worry that these cars are sitting out there and rotting away. Something will happen to them. They will not deteriorate to nothing, fortunately enough. Hey everyone, hope you enjoyed the video from my friend's farm. And all those cars, wow. And I can't believe that I forgot to film the, one of the last buildings. I mean, I know you got little snippets and you got the pictures, but I will do a follow-up and get more information. And don't forget, while the cars aren't for sale, like they're not actively trying to sell them, if anyone really has an interest in one of the cars that you've seen over the last few videos, like one of the A12 cars or even one of the Hemi cars, um, there's a handful that aren't, like they are owned by other people, but uh, they are open to offers. So let me know. All my information is, of course, in the description below. And I'm here, and as you can see, I'm in my garage, and the snow's gone. It's actually above freezing. It's currently, like, 38, 39 from what the temperature gauge over there says. So, just no more snow, and it's not freezing to death. Next week might hit 50. So, I'm actually... So, this is my schedule here for the next, like, mm, yeah, two weeks. So, I'm talking to you on Sunday. Oh, I don't know. What, hold on. What is it? It's the 28th of June. And next weekend, I have a bat mitzvah to go to on Saturday. But I'm going to try to go right from there, drive to Detroit. Because next Sunday, a week from today, is the WPC Chrysler Swap Meet at the Macomb County Fairgrounds, or uh, Macomb County Community College. Um, it's at the Expo Center, because there's two different properties. You gotta go to the right one. But I will hopefully be there buying some stuff for the green car, um, because I've actually been collecting some parts for it. And I need, uh, I let's see. I need, ooh, where is it? Door panels right there, because the door panels I have are garbage. Um, I think I have one good one. But I will be there. I'll have books if anyone wants a copy. And then after that, oh, then the weekend after that is the Chicago Mopar Swap Meet in um, Tinley Park, Illinois. And I will absolutely be there. So come say hi. If you guys have any comments or questions, of course, leave them below. Um, otherwise, got some really cool... I actually know what is releasing next week. And I'm going to be showing, or I'm going to be releasing a video on a whole bunch of cool Fords from here in Illinois. And they're for sale as of right now. So I will talk to you all soon. Stay safe. And, uh, oh, that, that didn't end really well. Um, everyone stay safe. I'll talk to you soon.